It sure is great to be home again. Must admit, I didn't think I'd get to see the old place again. I was bonkers for a while there. Didn't think I'd get to sit at the kitchen table with John and have a cup of tea again. <laughs> or give Fred my old hand there, another scratch on his belly. <laughs> so I thought I was a goner. The pain was really something. Couldn't think straight. And all that legal stuff sorted. I can die easy now that I know John's name's on the farm. I don't expect any old ghosts to appear and give him a hard time over the property, but I just wanted to make sure. I can still get around a bit, as long as I take my tablets for the bit of pain that I've still got on me back. Sure taught me that putting up with the pain and the agony just wasn't worthwhile. <laughs> my other problem is that I can't get enough air into my lungs. Every time I do anything, I wind up panting like I've just run a marathon. That, uh, that nice girl Susan, uh, the community nurse, comes out and checks on me once or twice a week. Uh, tells me she can come out more if I need it. She, uh, she brought me a shower chair and a couple of other bits and pieces that uh, clutter up the place. <laughs> but uh, I reckon it all helps. <laughs> uh, she, took, she took us down to uh, Dr Smith's surgery a week or so ago. Sat us down and uh, they had a bit of a chat about how tough it might get out here when I get a bit worse and I can't get myself up and about. I know John's spending more time around the sheds than the house these days, so he can keep an eye on me. Things are getting behind in the paddocks. He's got better things to do than babysit me.